What's up guys? Welcome back to Maddie and Daddy Vlogs. Today we're going to be doing bath time with baby. Uh, I will not be showing Maddie in the nude or anything crazy like that. I'm just going to show you kind of the setup, what we do, um, how we do it as far as getting the bath set up, uh, clothes and all that jazz. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Maddie is just chilling. She's ready. She's a little stinky, so she needs the bath. But I'll show you guys. What? What? Well, sorry. So, yep, that's what we are going to do today is bath time. So let me get set up. Right now we are in Maddie's room. We kind of just prepare for everything, right? Don't worry, baby girl strap down. She's good to go, right man? So we get everything that we're going to need post bath. We tend to pick out an outfit, socks, if that's what we need. Right now, Maddie's just gonna be hanging out in the house. So a onesie's perfectly fine for what we're doing today. This is the onesie we're gonna rock. It's always sunny with daddy onesie. I think she'll like that. I'm not much of a fashion person, but I just went with the, uh, the gray socks to match with the gray onesie. I think Maddie will like that. So onesies, socks, a diaper she'll need, uh, creams, um, lotions. So we set all that stuff out to make sure that we're good to go post bath. So come with me, come with me. We're getting a towel and a washcloth. Oh, that's a little rough. I don't want that one. Sounds a little bit better. I have this one with a cool head part. So you put, you know, you could rub her head and hair there and then just wrap her up in the, in the towel. So that's cool. And then we do a washcloth. So yeah, washcloth and towel, set that out. So far, we've got the towel out, the washcloth out. We've got the outfit she's gonna change into, right? We've got the oils and lotions and everything else that's post bath. Now, I feel confident getting the water started. So I'll show you the bathtub, the little bathtub we have for her. And it has this cool little, well, I'll just show you instead of talking about it, but I think it's neat. This is Maddie's bathtub. When we originally got it, it came with an insert so that you could, you would clip it on the back here and then over here and you can put the baby in on the insert so that they're not completely immersed in the tub, which was nice. And then you would just take the washcloth and kind of put it in the water and kind of wring it out on baby so that the baby didn't feel overwhelmed. But we have all our stuff here. This is for her head. Here's some of that uh, shampoo body wash right there. We have her little duckies. Boom, boom, boom her duckies to keep her entertained. And that's pretty much it. You don't fill it up too much in the bathtub itself. My wife is a whiz at bath time. I'm getting better at it. Um, but yeah, and then you can put all your stuff, like all of this stuff you could put right here just so it's handy, right? That's what it's there for. But it's pretty easy, nothing cosmic about it. She's hit or miss with bath time. She typically likes being in there, but sometimes she just has a rough day. Today's one of those days. Um, hard and fast rule when it comes to the water. Too cold for you, too cold for her, too hot for you, too hot for her. That's kind of the best way to go about it. You'll tell when she gets in there. Um, it can be scary being a dad right a dad of a little girl because we're not familiar with the female anatomy like that um so it's a little intimidating um i'm not gonna lie the first few times it was um i let my wife well more than a few times but i let my wife do a lot of the bath times and i kind of just observed to see how she wanted to go about it so that i had a good idea of a baseline of how to do it myself so again i'm not going to show you maddie in the bathtub i think that's inappropriate for sure um, but um, I showed you the setup. Um, I showed you what it looks like. Uh, so we'll see you after bath time, right, Mads? 
and you'll be clean and not smelling gross. Yeah? Let's do this. All right, so that's it. Mads is, whoa, 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 baby, whoa. Mads is clean and looking at herself in the mirror. She likes doing that a lot. Um, I don't know how to do hair, so my wife's probably gonna be like, that looks absolutely horrible. But she's clean. We did in fact do bath time. So that's exciting, right Mads? Yeah, oh, she nodded a little. Yeah, mamas, yeah. So yeah, guys, that's it. Um, things we did off camera, we did her, yeah, we did her hair, right Maddie? We did her hair, we got her in her, or in her little outfit, put socks on. Um, yeah, just typical bath time, right Mads? I see you drooling, so let's stop this, roll this, and or stop this clip and you know, do our thing, wipe the face. Uh, so guys, if you uh, enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I know I didn't show you exactly about the time, just remember with the girl, it's probably, it's definitely different than a boy. And yeah, just be careful um, when you're, when you're washing, make sure you get everything clean. All right guys, Maddie and I will talk to you later. Say bye, Maddie. <laughs> okay. Today, I'm going to be doing bottle cleaning. Um, that's one of those things. It could be a tedious chore, sort of, but it's got to be done, right? So I'm going to show you uh, what we use um, to get baby girls uh, bottles clean. All right, guys. So one of the main things that I never even considered when thinking about cleaning bottles is that you need a certain type of dish soap. So we got this bottle and dish soap, Dapple Baby from Target. Um, and that's what I'm gonna use to, to, when I make up the water to clean the bottles with. All right guys, I'm letting the bottles soak a little bit. While that's going on, I'm gonna tell you basically um, what I do after I'm done washing them. So wash, rinse, and then I bring over here to the sterilizer. Um, this kind of takes the place of what we used to do at the beginning. We'd wash, rinse, and then we would uh, boil. So boil some hot water and put it in pots and basically um, boil the, um, the, the nipples, the top, the bottles, try to do all that stuff. Um, but my mother-in-law bought us this sterilizer, which is really cool. So it comes in a few pieces. Basically the bottles go in this one, so it can do up to six at a time. So the six bottles, you put um, water in this piece and then you put that like right there with the bottles in there. And then you put the tops of the bottles in here, right? And then you put the top on and then you just click the button um, over and then it takes about roughly 10 minutes and it sterilizes the bottles and then you take them out so um, I'll do my first set wash those um, I'll put my second set on this towel and let them dry um, until you know the first batch is done then I set those out to dry out uh, again like I said you don't need necessarily a sterilizer it's a great awesome gift um, thanks to my mother-in-law but at the beginning, like I said, we would do uh, two pots, uh, big pots. One would be bottles. One would be the nipples and the uh, bottle top cover. Uh, and then we would just boil, uh, and that's the way we'd sterilize it. But you could do it any, any which way. Um, that's completely up to you.
right, so bottles have been washed. Now it's time for the sterilization process. Uh, like I said, you load the six bottles in there. Then you load the six uh, nipples and tops on this part. Uh, and then you put this bad boy on the top. You put this here uh, on. And then you just click the button right here. It'll go on, like there's two, two, uh, if you can see right there, there's two, uh, two different kind of um, symbols, right? One is letting you know that it's starting and going and doing its thing. And then once it's done, it'll click over and then it'll come over here and it'll be the green check mark to let you know it's done. It will be very, very, very hot. So be careful getting the things out. Um, typically what I do and the wife does is we get a pair of tongs, like kitchen tongs and take it out, put it out here for it to dry bottles and tops. Um, take the top off the nipple so that it can dry separately. So as advertised, right? It was that orange color uh, and it was doing the steaming. Now it's got the check mark because it's done. Like I said, it's very, very, very hot. Um, so be careful if you do have one of these. Uh, again, uh, I just take it off, um, take the tongs and then I'm gonna just transport everything from here to here and the bottles from here to here. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's it's a pretty seamless process. Wash the bottles, rinse the bottles, sterilize the bottles, leave them out to dry. Pretty simple. Uh, but yeah, um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to share and subscribe if you haven't. All right, guys, have a good one.